I tell you guys, I tell you guys that being a landlord is a dangerous business. Why do you think every time you guys watch one of our Tenants from Hell shows that feature my team, myself out in the field, evicting tenants, interacting, doing these things, we are all carrying guns. It is a dangerous game. And unfortunately for a Chicago landlord, this lady, Frances Walker, she found out how dangerous it is. Uh, her tenant, Sandra Kalau, I apologize if I butchered your name, Sandra, it's hard to pronounce. Uh, but I guess you also owe Frances Walker an apology for freaking butchering her because this chick just got arrested because she killed this lady, cut her up into pieces, and put her in the freezer. Let's unpack this thing. Welcome to the show, y'all. The show where we expose the real estate and property management business for what it is. A tough, difficult, and dangerous business, right? If you guys have seen any of our uh, field content that we do regularly here in the Tennis from Hell show, you ever notice that myself, my staff, anytime we're out there in the field, what are we doing? We're usually carrying guns because you need protection when you're a landlord because it is a very dangerous job. And somebody who just found out how dangerous that job is, is 69-year-old Chicago landlord Frances Walker. Well, she was 69. She's no longer 69 because at the moment, she's apparently looking very much like a freaking TV dinner because her tenant, this chick, Sandra Kalau, 36, just got arrested for killing her, cutting her body up with a butcher knife, and then storing her in her fucking freezer in their Chicago home. What the fuck? Okay, this house right here. Apparently, Francis has been renting uh, rooms to tenants for years. Okay, she's renting, renting rooms to various tenants. One of those tenants in this particular house was this chick right here, Sandra Kalau. Okay, and as I talk to you guys, right, uh, this just happened. This is like breaking news, right? It's Thursday, October 13th, 2022. All right, Monday, a couple days ago. Uh, here's the reports. Tenants hear screaming. The other tenants in the house, they hear all kinds of screaming. They don't know what the hell's going on. They hear crazy screaming, scuffling. So they text their landlord, Francis, right? They're like, yo, what the fuck? It's like 2.30 in the morning. What the fuck? You're like this old fucking lady. Why are you fucking like, what's going on? And then she's like, oh, it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it, right? And then they never saw her again, right? So the next day, they still haven't saw her. Nobody's talking to them about what the hell happened last night. So finally, they call the police at like, you know, six or seven o'clock at night or something. They're like, yo, dude, we, hear, we, we heard our landlord, you know, a little old lady screaming and stuff uh, night before we text her. She says it's cool, but now we can't find her. And we got this other chick that lives in the building and her name is Sandra and she's batshit fucking crazy and we're all afraid of her. Can you like check this shit out? Right. So cops come to the house the next day. Right. As they get to the house, this woman is like leaving the house, I guess. Uh, she had just hired a tow truck driver to like drive her somewhere. I'm guessing she like said something like uh, my car's like broke down. Can you take me to my car? Something like that. I don't know. But she also like brought a big bag with her, uh, according to the reports I'm reading. And uh, the tenants apparently told this tow truck driver like, yo, bro, that chick is crazy. And uh, here's our phone number. Let us know if anything crazy goes down. And then I guess he drives her pretty far away. She ends up throwing out uh, a big bag, okay? Like when they get like to a public garbage can or dumpster or something like that. And apparently the concerned tenants, like one of them like followed this tow truck driver that drove this woman there. And then they rummaged through that garbage and they found a bunch of bloody rags. And then when the cops... Got that information. They actually got inside the house and they found uh, Francis Walker here, like cut up like a fucking TV dinner and shoved in the freezer. So Sandra was then promptly arrested. Okay. 
So that is what happened. All the news reports uh, have just been releasing this information as the cops are finding everything out here on Thursday, October 13th. Wow. All right. Now, I've been telling you guys over the course of thousands of videos that it's very difficult uh, to be a real estate investor. It's very difficult to be a landlord. It is, in fact, a dangerous job. And one of the most dangerous types of real estate investing you could do uh, is what's called house hacking, okay? And I myself have done house hacking. My very first property was a house hack. I bought it when I was 21 years old. As I talk to you today, I'm 35. And uh, that property allowed me to go from zero to over $200 million in real estate transactions. So for me, it went very, very well. Uh, but it can be very dangerous. Luckily for me, uh, I decided that I didn't want strangers to live in the exact house I lived in. Uh, I, I don't know if like becoming, you know, uh, cut up and chopped into pieces was like the first thing on the top of my mind. I don't know if like I thought that was the risk, but I just, you know, it's not something I was comfortable with. I didn't like it. So I actually ended up uh, doing that very first house hack and renting to my brother. Uh, odds are very good that my brother's not going to cut me up into pieces, right? I, I felt very strongly about that, right? Uh, we still work together, so uh, we've been working together for quite a while. Sometimes it, it feels like he probably wants to at this point. But at that time, I definitely didn't think that that was uh, a level of fear. But that's the thing, right? When you're doing these house hack deals where they actually live in the same units as you guys, you guys really need to up your level of tenant screening, okay? Because you don't know who you're getting. And hey, this is a newsflash. Just for everybody out there who's thinking about buying single family homes and renting them by the room, you are drastically going to increase uh, the level of danger uh, that you put yourselves in, the level of risk, right? Because uh, tenants who are renting by the room are typically more transient, have a sketchier uh, credit and background history. And I believe the amount of danger and amount of crime when renting by the room, when renting to tenants who are looking to rent by the room versus their own apartments is typically going to be a little bit higher. Now, of course, that is just... Uh, something I'm saying, like looking at it as averages, of course, in any one specific situation, there could be an exception to the rule. It is very much not a rule. It is just something that I'm generalizing, being someone who's been in the business for a very long time, uh, almost 15 years at this point, and has had thousands of tenants and has done over $200 million worth of transactions. I'm just telling you that uh, from somebody who's been in the game, that you really need to focus and really need to pay attention on your tenant screening because Renting by the room is one of the most dangerous types of being a landlord, right? It's the most dangerous activities you could do. Probably even more dangerous than collecting rent in cash in person, which you should never, ever do. If you do do it, make sure you're packing like the Holton Wise team is always packing, but definitely not something I would recommend. So as this story continues, I'm sure we will find out uh, more things on Sandra and Francis and exactly how it all went wrong but apparently there was red flags all over the place though because the other tenants uh had apparently been living in total fear of this woman sandra so it's going to be interesting to see uh as the news reports continue to come out over the coming days and weeks and as we get into the trial here it's going to be interesting to see uh what was going on in the background of sandra and what were uh, the red flags that those tenants had noticed that made them so afraid of her. And why uh, was Frances Walker here? Why was she blind to all that, right? This little old lady. Why did she miss all of that? Why did she feel comfortable sharing a roof with this woman who's obviously disturbed if she is indeed the killer and the butcher, right? It's some real Jeffrey Dahmer shit here, man. It is wild. Which, by the way, Netflix, Jeffrey Dahmer, monster. Woof. That is disturbing disturbing short series. I highly recommend you guys check it out, uh, but please do not check it out if you are only checking it out to get tips on how to be a landlord butchering tenant because that is lame. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.